In this video, we're going to show you how you can respond to discussion prompts that your teacher posts within Schoology. So from the student perspective, I would open the discussion. If your teacher has directions, a shortened and abbreviated direction piece will show up here. But to see full directions, we need to open up the assignment itself. We see that the teacher directions are going to be listed in this area here. We can see when the teacher posted it. And then additionally, um, we can see that the teacher has chosen to include some resources in here. This is where you're going to post your comment here. If we look down here, we also see a couple different options. Uh, we see that we can choose to display other student responses in a different way here using these options. And we notice that the teacher has made this a requirement of the discussion. The teacher has the choice. Um, in this case, you must submit a comment before seeing replies. So this is an option that the teacher can use or not use. In this case, the teacher has used the option, so you cannot see other students' responses unless you reply. You can, however, see who responds. So we see that this person has responded at this time, but we see here this gray bar indicates that it is blanked out. Please pay attention to some of the content that's in your teacher instructions. Again, they may include resources. They could include links that may go to another website and require you to interact with these websites or resources before responding. So in order to respond, you're going to go ahead and click where it says write a comment. And we have several options within this box. Uh, we have formatting options listed here, bullets and different italicized underline and bolding. Uh, you can increase the indent, spell check, size. You can insert content. So you can insert uh, links if you want to, if your teacher requires it. And also you can insert equations in case this is a mathematical discussion. And then you can clear formatting here. Some other options that your teacher might require of you, besides just a um, written response goes here, is they may want you to upload a file. So to upload a file, you would click up File, and then you'd upload a file from your Chromebook. If your teacher asks you to include a link of something or a link to something, you would include the link here, paste the link there, and give it a title. And it'll show up as a hyperlink like this. You can also do what's called an audio video recording. So your teacher may ask you to either give an audio response where you're going to speak into your Chromebook microphone and deliver a comment or a video recording, which is both recording your face through your webcam and also uh, your speech. So there's a couple different options there. When you're finished and satisfied with your response, you can click post. Now that we see that I have, here's my response, I can like my response or I can reply to my own response. When you make your response, you do have the option to edit your response or delete your response. Notice we cannot edit or delete other students' responses. I'm going to refresh this page now. Once I do that, I see that Chris Williams, I can see his response now. So once I've responded, I can see other students' responses once I reload the page. I can also like and reply to other students as well. Your name will appear when you reply. And again, when you reply to somebody else, you have the same options listed here. And there's the reply and what that would look like on your end. So that's how you respond uh, to a discussion post that your teacher may assign within Schoology.